Welcome to the series where I test out money making methods from the OSRS wiki. Feel free to leave suggestions on which money maker you'd like to see next. And also, if you didn't already know, I have a nice playlist that I've created that has all of the previous money makers that I've already tried. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for today's video, I thought we'd do something extra special since it is the 50th episode of this series. Today we will be celebrating and to celebrate we will be drinking beer for an entire hour. So this was suggested multiple times and at first I didn't think that it was true because I mean getting paid to drink is kind of the dream isn't it? But in RuneScape it doesn't have to be. You can actually make money by drinking beer and then selling back the beer glasses. Another good thing about this method is that there are no requirements, you don't need any skill levels or any quests done to do this, just a little bit of GP to buy the beers. Now before we dive into this video, I just want to say that this video isn't really meant to be taken seriously because I have had some people complain on some of these silly money making videos that I've done like picking flax and stuff like that, just know that it's all in good fun. I also want to say that I did change the audio settings quite a bit because I was recording some live commentary for a future video, so I decided to try it out in this video as well to see what it sounded like. And I gotta say, I spent a whole lot of time trying to get the audio settings right because there's just so much background noise that it is hard to try and filter all of that out, but I think I finally got it down to a pretty reasonable volume. I tried my best and I'm basically just making the best of the gear that I have available to me right now. So let me know what you think about the audio settings and if they sound okay. But with that being said, we can now jump into the gear setup of the video. Again, you won't be needing any gear at all. I'm just wearing some Fashionscape, wearing the new Graceful that I got, wearing the best helmet in the game, which is the Golden Helmet, wearing the Max Cape, and holding the Ale of the Gods. So if you want to match this while you're doing this moneymaker, go ahead. But again, you don't need any of this. The only thing you need is the full inventory of beer that you're going to be downing for one hour, or however long you choose to do this, if you choose to do it. And I gotta say, I love the walk animation of the Ale of the Gods. I believe it's very appropriate for the video that we are doing right now. So right now I'm just adding some bank fillers, as I usually do, to help with banking. But again, I'm pretty sure I didn't even need to add those. There's the screen marker plugin that I use to mark the deposit inventory button, which again I didn't use. I think I used the all option just to click on the beer glasses and the beer whenever I needed to withdraw. I'm also using the camera zoom plugin to get closer to the bank chest, and again that just helps with faster banking. And as for the method of this money maker, there is really nothing to it. All you will be doing is drinking the beer in your inventory, depositing all of the glasses back into your bank and withdrawing more beer and getting absolutely plastered. You'll also notice that your stats will be decreasing very quickly. My attack will be at zero for most of this video because that is what the beer does to you. But it's not all bad news. We did get our strength up to, it says 101, so that's pretty good. We're extra strong, but I don't think we're gonna be hitting anything at all. But it's not all bad news, we did get our strength up to, it says 101, so that's pretty good, we're extra strong, but I don't think we're going to be hitting anything at all. I suppose if I went and geared up in full strength gear and got some accuracy bonuses, I could potentially still hit something, but unfortunately I didn't try it in this video. I do believe that there was a glitch back in the day where you could drink beer and infinitely raise your strength level but I'm pretty sure that's not a thing anymore or else everybody would be doing this for every single PK fight or PVM boss or whatever you need high strength for. I gotta say I was worried about this moneymaker being super click intensive before I started it, but in reality it wasn't really that bad since there is some time before you can drink another beer. You can't just spam click all of the food rapidly. Something that I did to I guess help me keep my sanity or stop me from getting too bored was clicking on the beer and drinking it in different patterns. I made patterns throughout the video. Some of them you'll see me do and then later on I think I just went down the, the rows without actually doing anything different. I did have some Netflix on in the background but I wasn't 
able to fully watch it, so I kind of just settled for something that I'd already seen. That way I wouldn't miss out on anything. So if you do try this moneymaker out for whatever reason, just know that it's not that AFK that you can completely um, turn your attention away from this. I mean, I guess you could maybe after 10 or 20 hours if you're insane enough to do that. You could probably just get the motion going without having to look at the screen. But for this one hour, I did have to pay moderate attention to my screen. So since this moneymaker is very, very simple and there's really no strategy to it, I am pretty much out of things to talk about here uh, in terms of the moneymaker. So I thought I'd just use this time to go ahead and tell you what I've been up to. If you're not interested in any of that, feel free to skip ahead to the price check. I've been playing the account very, I'd say minimally compared to what I usually play it as. I've uh, really been playing other games in my free time. I've been playing Call of Duty a lot with my friends and now that the new season is out I'll probably keep playing that and grinding that out but it shouldn't get in the way of these videos. I'm also really looking forward to a new game that is coming out I believe tomorrow as of the time of this upload which is uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I am a huge fan of that game. I was going to say the series but to be honest 7 is really the only game that I actually dedicated massive amounts of time to. FF7 was definitely one of my favorite games growing up as a kid. I spent so much time on that game, played through it multiple times, and it's just a really great game. And the fact that it got a remake is absolutely amazing. I've been looking forward to it for the longest time, and honestly, it's been a very long time since I've been this excited for a game. It's kind of similar to OSRS, how, you know, when OSRS was announced, I think everybody had, you know, that nice sense of excitement because, well, one of their favorite games of all time was coming back. So it's kind of the same thing with this. I was debating whether I should record it or maybe even try attempting to live stream it. Live streaming is something that I'd really like to get into, but with my current setup and my connection, it's kind of, it's kind of a pain. It doesn't really come out in the greatest quality, but again, I was debating whether I should record the video and maybe upload it, but I don't know. This is an OSRS channel, so I doubt many people will be interested, but let me know what you think. And also let me know if you guys are fans of Final Fantasy 7 and if you are going to be playing the game as well. And with that little rant being over, we have finished the one hour of drinking beer. We managed to drink a whole lot and my stats are completely messed up. So we're going to go ahead and drink from this nice pool over here. I'm not sure what's in there, but it is the best hangover cure and it will rejuvenate our stats. One sip from this and we are feeling a-okay. If only it was like that in real life, but I guess we can't have everything. Now that we've drank from the pool, we can go ahead and go to the GE to sell off all of the loot that we got, which is basically just the empty glass mugs that we drank out of. But as you can see here, we have a total of 1,806 beers. I guess I'm a lightweight because the wiki said that you can drink up to 1,900 and I did not manage to hit that number, so yeah. But we're going to go ahead and put them in there for 61, which is the actively traded price. And okay, maybe not since they're not selling. I'll go ahead and put them in there for 1 GP less since, again, this isn't a super serious video. So I don't mind taking a small loss. But now we can do a final price check. And as you can see here, 108,360 GP. Now, if you are planning to do this moneymaker seriously to make some money, I do suggest putting the price of the glass mug in there for a lot more. And by a lot more, I mean like maybe three or four GP more because earlier, whenever I was testing out the margins to see that it was still a viable moneymaker, I found out that the glass mug actually bought for 67 GP. So you could possibly set it for that price and leave it in there for a little bit longer. Just make sure you do check the margins on the beer and the beer glass before attempting this moneymaker so that you can see if it's still a viable money making method. I usually always get that one comment on my video saying how I pretty much ruin money makers whenever the video goes live but I don't think we're quite there yet. I don't think the video gets that many uh, views to actually influence the market but I don't know maybe I'm just maybe I'm wrong. But with that being said, we can do the final calculations to figure out how much money we made. So if we subtract the amount we spent on the beers, which was 66,822 GP from the amount of money we made, which was 108,360 GP, we get a grand total profit of 41,538 GP from one hour of drinking beer. 
Now, it's not a huge amount of money, but I mean, come on, we literally just got paid to drink beer. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you didn't mind my rant for about half of it. I just thought it'd be cool to let you guys know what I've been up to, and also to tell you that I'm very thankful for all of the support that you guys have been showing on this series. You guys really seem to like it, and every time I get one of those positive comments, it just motivates me to make more of these videos. And again, let me know what you thought of the audio. Again, I did change it. I did tweak it to help out with some of the background noises that are coming out, but honestly, I won't know until you guys let me know if it's good or not. I feel like the saying, you are your worst critic, is actually super true here because some of the times whenever I'm recording, I'll hear these little sounds that annoy me and I try my best to take them out, but then whenever the video goes live, no one really mentions it, so I'm kind of thinking that it's just... I don't know, I'm being hypercritical or something. But that is enough rambling, I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you did enjoy it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and possibly a subscription, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode. And here's to another 50.